Prime Minister, thank you very much for taking the time to speak to us today. I know it's a very, very busy day. So the European Film Awards are taking place in Iceland this year and the country has uh, long uh, accommodated uh, big budget uh, productions and has almost become the, the Hollywood of Europe, so to speak. So how significant is it for you to have the, uh, the European Film Awards take place in Iceland this year? Obviously, we are extremely happy about this event taking place here in Iceland. Um, and I think actually the Icelandic public has really realized in the last maybe 15 years or so how important the movie industry is. It is really what we can say the core of modern narrative happens in the movies and in television and we have seen great Icelandic movies and television series coming into reality in the last few years. I think this is maybe symbolic for us to actually be hosting this very important prize, uh, showing that we're really on the map of the movie world. One thing that Iceland, I mean, when, when talking to colleagues and friends, um, words that they associate with Iceland is environment. And uh, one thing that the European Film Awards also do is the Sustainability Award, which is awarded this year to the European Green Deal. Do you think that enough is being done with regards to the environment, or, or is it just one of those things that's still just being paid lip service as opposed to meaningful action? Well, you know, we are not doing enough, I don't think anybody is doing enough because we have a crisis not just when it comes to climate but also when it comes to biodiversity. Uh, of course we are trying to do our best with ambitious goals, we're heading for carbon neutrality no later than 2040, we're heading for energy shift really switching over to green energy in our transport system etc. Um, yes we are making progress uh, but I would prefer that it was even faster. Now, I'd be remiss um, if I didn't mention the fact that this year you, uh, you wrote and you published a book, which is a crime novel, if I'm not mistaken. It's not the first time, because I believe that your predecessor also published a book while he was in office. Now, what is it about writing and, and certainly the noir or the crime genre that appeals to you? I used to study crime fiction. I studied Icelandic literature. And crime fiction was my main topic, so I have always enjoyed crime uh, in fiction, not in reality. Um, and I actually was writing my master's thesis when the Icelandic crime novel was really flourishing uh, and, and becoming rather big, and it has become even bigger in the last decade or so. And I must admit that I really enjoyed writing it, and I think that even us politicians can be creative I think it's very good for us because sometimes we are not very creative <laughs> in our politics um, and it's really because the writing time was during uh, the time of the pandemic, uh, uh, you know, when I was totally absorbed in the virus and I was really getting, let's say, obsessed uh, with the virus and its effects and what we were doing. So having this kind of pet project to think about sometimes late in the evening or you know when suddenly I had an hour to actually I think it just saved my mental health <laughs> during that pandemic. And finally um, I mean as you know it's been a very challenging year on several levels I'm obviously not going to, to list them but have there been any events this year for you whether they're cultural or otherwise or something that you've read seen heard seen in the cinema I don't know that have been something of a balm in difficult times or something that's given you hope well I I must say because I don't have I, I, you know my friends make jokes about me because I don't have many hobbies <laughs> But my hobbies really are all about that. Reading a good book, going to a concert, going to the cinema. I really enjoyed going to the cinema because I think actually in modern times we always have our phones and you know, you're looking at the television or wherever you are and you're always checking if you have a message. When you go to the cinema you can't do that so you kind of are stuck. So it really has made the cinema a more, I think, exclusive experience than ever before. Prime Minister, thank you very much for your time today. Thank you.